They are your best friend, and you'd do anything to keep them happy and healthy. But what if they needed emergency help? Plasma. Plasma. Dog plasma. Dog plasma. Um, no. Some real help. We have emergency vets today, but 40 years ago, Dr. Phil Farber of Georgetown Animal Hospital created this, the Pet Ambulance, an old Dodge Coronet station wagon with a mattress in the back. Now, now, not going there. Dr. Farber explained why he created his pet ambulance to our own Hall of Famer, Barbara Boyd. There are many people out there that, when their animal gets sick, have no way of getting the animal to the hospital. And therefore, we feel that the pet ambulance service will be able to provide both of those services. Well, it's certainly well equipped. You've got everything in there. We really do. We felt that if we were going to provide this kind of a service, uh, we really need to be able to take care of an animal at the point of the accident uh, to the greatest degree that we can. Uh, we're trying to be well enough equipped that we can uh, come very, very close to a human ambulance, and uh, we know that we can't have as elaborate of equipment as that, but we can definitely stabilize the animal, transport them back to the clinic, you know, very safely so that we can then uh, try to institute any other measures that need to be done. Last we heard, Dr. Farber is retired to a suburb of Las Vegas. The Georgetown Animal Hospital still exists. It's on Lafayette Road now instead of Georgetown Road. But the pet ambulance, sadly, is only a hazy yellow memory. I'm Ray Steele, and as always, when she's with us, Ms. Boyd takes us home. You have a good day, and stay on top of the world.